Good morning, ladies. So here is our CGI problem for today. It's a big one, but we've got this. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and read through it. It says, the second grade sold some cookies at their bake sale on Monday. On Tuesday, they sold 64 brownies. On Wednesday, they sold 159 Rice Krispie treats. During their entire bake sale, the second grade sold 341 baked goods. How many cookies did they sell on Monday? So I went ahead and I did my cubes. So I swore, circled my numbers. So I have three numbers here, 64, 159, and 341. I underlined my question, which is how many cookies did they sell on Monday? And I boxed in my important uh, words. Some, I know that that's some, I don't know what it is. They sold 64, they sold 159, and they sold 341. So we have to now figure out how many they sold on Monday. So go ahead and show me two different ways. Think carefully about what you could do with the numbers that you have and what you're missing. Pause the video, go ahead and do it and come back when you're ready. Okay, so let's go over how we can do this. We're gonna look at one way to do this now. I like to make sure that I'm very organized when I'm doing my work, just so that I don't get confused. So I know that I had Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as the days that we um, sold some cookies and stuff like that. So I'm going to write Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All right. Now Monday, I don't know. I have to put a question mark because I have no clue. Tuesday, it's a 64 brownies. So I'm going to write 64. And on Wednesday, a whopping 159. Woo. And I know that my total for all those days has to come out to 341. So those are the three numbers that they gave me and I need to figure out that missing one. So one way that I could do this is I could see, well, how much did they make on Tuesday and Wednesday? So I could do what operation then? I could add them. So let's go ahead and add 159 plus the 64 to see how many they made um, on those two days combined. So nine plus four, 13. Carry that one up. One plus five, six, so six plus six, 12. Carry the one, one plus one, two. So now I know that they sold 223 um, snacks on Tuesday and Wednesday. So now I just need to figure out the Monday. What can I do with the total and what I know on Tuesday and Wednesday to get what happened on Monday? If I added these, that would not give me the total. No, that would give me a huge amount that I don't have. I need to subtract those out. So I can do 341 minus 223, and that'll give me Monday's total. I can't do one minus three, so I have to borrow from the four. Makes that a three. The one becomes an 11. 11 minus three, eight. Three minus two, one. And three minus two, one. So there it is. On Monday, they sold 118 cookies. I can go ahead and I can check my work as well to make sure I'm right. So 118 plus 64 plus 159 should come out to 341. So let's go ahead and check that. This is my check to make sure that I am correct. So 118 plus 64 plus 159. 159 and 64. I'm going to do it all at once. I'm going to go crazy. So now I need to do 8 plus 9 plus 4. So 8 plus 9 gives me 17. So 17 plus 4 is going to give me 21. So 1, carry the 2. 2 plus 1 plus 5 plus 6. So 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. So now 8 plus 6, ladies, is 14. So I'm going to go ahead and put 4, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 and it does check out 341, 341. So I do know my answer is 118. I'm gonna show you another way you can do it real fast. All right, another way that you could do this is simply by taking your total that you know they had, which is 341, that was the total, and subtracting out what they sold because you can get rid of it, right? You're getting rid of what they already had. They no longer have those baked goods because they sold them. So I know that they sold 159, so I can get rid of that. So I can do 341 minus 159. So this is the total, and this was um, Wednesdays. 
that I'm subtracting out of. I can't do 1 minus 9, so I have to borrow from the 4. So that becomes a 3. This becomes an 11. 11 minus 9, 2. Can't do 3 minus 5, so I have to borrow from the 3 over here. That becomes a 2. This becomes a 13. 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5. Ah, 8. Um, and then 2 minus 1. 1. So now I have 182. Now with 182, that's not my answer though, because I still had 64 that I also sold. So I need to get rid of that as well. So now this is my new total and I'm subtracting away Tuesday's amount. And then that'll leave me with Monday's amount. I can't do two minus four, so I have to borrow. So I'm gonna take my eight, that becomes a seven. The two becomes a 12. 12 minus four. Eight. 7 minus 6, 1, and 1 minus nothing, another 1. So once again, I still come out with 118 cookies on Monday. Booyah. And that is that. That's what the whole page looks like. Make sure that you watch the other videos. You go on to Freckle, you go on to Zern, you're keeping up with your packet, all that good stuff. Okay, ladies? You're doing fabulous. Keep up the hard work. I want to see all of you trying your best so that when we do return to school, we are ready to go. All right. I miss you all and I cannot wait to see you. Bye.